Two matches done here on court one. It is quarterfinals day here at the China Masters 2023 in Shenzhen. And uh, our third match is our first men's singles quarterfinal here on court one. Zhao Junpeng of China takes on Chinese Taipei's Lim Chunyi. We have one semi-finalist already guaranteed. That was a great win for Kenta Nishimoto. Actually disposed of Lizzy Jia, who looked absolutely brilliant yesterday here on court one. And he beat him very convincingly on court two just a short while ago. And it means that Kenta Nishimoto will meet the winner of the match here that we're about to see on court one. Well, uh, we just had to wait there because uh, Zhao Junpeng got himself a little lost as to how to walk in towards the court, but he just got corrected by the officials. And now, there they are. Well, joining us here in the commentary is uh, Chris Language, men's doubles bronze medalist from the Rio Olympics, European and Commonwealth Games champion as well. And I have to say, a good afternoon to you now, Chris. It's been a couple hours of uh, pretty intense stuff as we look at this uh, matchup between the two. Right. Lynch and Yi okay. has won the only Red. Like for you. match between them. The German Open. Yes, one that in three. You and I watched uh, Lynch and Yi yesterday. Um, well, we were really impressed with how he took on Ginting, weren't we? Yeah, he played really, really well. I think it's such an interesting match, this, because on paper, you'd never expect either of these players to be at this round when you look at the number two seed, Jin Ting in the bottom, and Li Shi Feng, the number five seed, which both mm. players have come through the sections of. Right. Zhao Jung Peng came through the section where Li Shi Feng was the seed, and Lin Chun Yi came through the section where Jin Ting was seeded. We look at Zhao Jun Peng here, who's uh, 27 years of age. He's 185 centimeters tall from Jiangsu. He's currently 35th in the world, but earlier this year, he was 11th. So maybe not paying too much attention to that. We'll give you a bit more detail on that in just a while. World champs last year, he finished third. Asia champs this year, he is the Asian, current Asian champion. He's beaten Wardoyo and then Gemke, both in straight games. Fantastic result. His opponent is 24-year-old Lin Chun Yi. 180 centimeters tall. He's uh, playing at his highest ever ranking. He's here at the World University Games. He won a goal. That's one of the few crowning achievements he's had in that sort of level. But he has won three titles on the World Tour. Kaohsiung Masters, a Super 100, the Thailand Masters. Super 300, that's his biggest win so far, along with the US Open in 2019. He's beaten Ginting and Popov, uh, Toma Popov, Toma Junior Popov, and he's won both those matches in straight games. I think we certainly enjoyed how he was uh, always looking to attack, wasn't he? Manfred Shum, Hong Kong China's our umpire. Ready to play. And David Graf von Schwerin of Austria, the service judge. Uh, just quickly, before I come back to uh, Chris, Zhao Junpeng has got to one previous World Tour final. That was at the Indonesia Open last year, where he lost to Victor Axelsson. Yeah, just going back to that, uh, Chris, we, we really enjoy watching how Lin Chun Yi sort of took on Ginting with always looking to play on the front foot, always trying to take the attack to his opponent. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I think he played really well yesterday, kind of carefree right. and mm, Lin Chun Yi, took Chinese the game on. No fear and on my left, from Lin Chun Yi. Zhou Jingpang, China. 
Lin Jin Yi to serve. Love all. Play. So it's Lin who gets us going here. Now, regardless One. of end, Love. he was always, there was a willingness for him to try and get. As soon as the opponent lifted, he was on it in a flash, wasn't he? In reading it well, moving well. Out. And so dangerous overhead. So it's over. One, all. So I suppose. Oh. The most basic terms, Chris, you want to try and so avoid the overhead as much as possible. Two, feeding one. him that. Within reason, yeah. I mean, you, yeah. you will have to go over him at times. Sure. But if you give him too much time on the overhead, if he can read it, if he's on balance in a good position, he was so accurate. And he does hit incredibly steep. Mm. Um, he hits it very crisp. I'm they, just, well, as I've said, they oh. just hits it very crisply. He mis hits it. <laughs> the <laughs> amount of times I'm the kiss of the kiss of death for. So but it was blows. steep. We'll give you that. It was steep, yeah. <laughs> but I think just going back to his opponent today, Zhang Peng, he's in a uh, a patch where he's just finding it a bit difficult because of his last six. Well, he's had six first rounds, and we're talking about mm. a, you know a very good player. But this tournament, like a. Almost a changed man. He's played so well in the early yeah. early two rounds, almost unbelievably well. Oh. Beating Chico oh. from uh, Indonesia, who's a great player. Yeah. 21 10 and 21 8, which yes. was quite convincing. And then yesterday against Rasmus Genka, quite comfortably as well, 13 and 14, who see Rasmus Genka beat Li Shi Feng. Yeah. Then already pull one up here. Smattering of applause here four. at the moment for the crowd. Continue <laughs> leading. Tajin Peng. Need to work this now. Get the crowd on his side. Get him going again. Four. Good follow up Three, pressure there. Four. So the first attack was okay, but the speed coming forward is very impressive. A nice reverse into a really awkward part of um, Lin's body. Four. Oh. Yeah, uh, Chris alluded to that. Actually, as soon as he got to his highest ranking at the start of the year, he was having first and second round exits throughout after that. As you said, six in a row. First round exits. But not a single tournament this year has he gone beyond the second round until Five, now. Four. This is the thing with badminton is such a complicated sport in regards to there's so many different components of physicality, mm. skill, shot selection, obviously the mental side of it. There's so much of it is momentum. When you start to things start to go well, it's almost like a, a hamster's wheel in regards to it. it just keeps going, you know, it keeps moving. Right. And you just want to keep it rolling, you know. Six. The best example oh. we can possibly have in 2023 of that would be Kim and Anders from Denmark in the men's doubles. They had a patch where they weren't maybe playing their best. Mm. They had the European Games where, to be honest, they still didn't play their best, but they won. And then after that, they just got better and better yeah. and better. And they had that incredible run, World almost champs. from nowhere. Yeah. I would say almost the opposite of that so is over. possibly Zhang Peng at the moment Six. in regards to he's just having a little bit of a tough time. Mm. But this tournament, especially if he was to win today, almost changes it all again. Yeah, like S you said, then it starts the momentum in the right yeah. direction. Yeah. Incredible net. Go! An interesting <laughs> put away then from Lin. Six. Just did some high knees. <laughs> but before it was the incredible spin, touch on his net. How tight that is. <laughs> the leap. Wasn't well, the worst four. idea, was it? Seven, six. From Lin? Yeah. Nah. Tough to execute. I think you could see 
don't know if at the corner of the eye you could see his opponent's eye was had quite a high base, was looking for that, and then maybe tried to play it a fraction tighter than it needed to be. There you go. Oh. Nice seven, court seven, there from Lim. Seven. Oh. Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant placement. And you can see here, as he gets up, so athletic. Played to perfection. Incredible. Oh, the skill how needed. Yeah. How about that? Skill Eight, needed to play that seven. shot. Because he's he's got there early and then he's just held it. And he's even moved his body in the opposite direction to make it even more deceptive. That's the quirk of this one is that we've got two left handers here as well. It's not something you see too often. Oh. Three in a row for Lin Chun Yi. Chun Yi has uh, looking at his uh, year. In comparison to Tao Jun Peng. It's very, very quick. He's read that incredibly well. Just a really short movement on his racket to just brush the mm. shuttle in a downward direction. I mean, he's played in Super 100s and stuff like that, but that helps garner the points as well, doesn't it? So this over. For Lin. For Lin Chu Yi, yeah. yeah. I mean, he did also win Tyler Masters Eight. in Feb, which was yes. the biggest result of the year for him. But I do think he's a, he's a player with so much potential because he's so dangerous overhead. That's out. And at the interval, so Lin Chu Yi leads by three in Eight. game one. Interval. Looking good so far. Challenges right after the interval. As we await that, we can tell you, Jordan Peng has been in 27 quarterfinals and won just over half 14. Challenge unsuccessful. Was, uh, out One there challenge for Lin. remaining. Service over. Nine, eleven. His last quarterfinal, by the way, was in the World Champs last year. It's been a year and a half since he's got to a quarter. Moment for him, especially at home. Tumbling over. 10, 11. Another perfect net. It shows that the level of the net play from all, all top singles players, but especially men's singles at the moment. I think it's really impressive for uh, Lin, Lin Chun Yi. Yesterday was 10. his biggest win against a higher ranked player, as in he, that's the highest player. I mean, yeah. Anthony's number, Anthony two, in the number two in the world. Mm. So obviously an incredible result, but the way he's come out here and taken this on, he hasn't sat back, he hasn't 
gone passive at all. He's playing in the same way. It's, it, it's, a, it's a mature way to deal with it the next, next day as well. Sometimes you see someone who has a, a big win and they can't really back it up. Mm. Especially as the highs of winning that, right? 11, well, yeah, can, can, it's not a, a one-off because I've, you know, we've seen him this year already be a lot of top players. Mm. I mean, Narioka in, in a two-hour <laughs> absolute monster marathon, um, but he's beaten easy yeah, He's beaten a lot of top players, but to, to back it up is one of the more difficult things, especially against his opponent, oh. who is at home yeah. and shown well. this tournament how well he's playing as well. He's done well to keep the crowd quite quiet so yeah, far. Yeah, it has been. You're right. Defending well, Zhao Peng. And when he comes forward, he's so quick. The the pace that he can inject. Remember, it was uh, Lin leading at the interval. Eleven eight, so it's five one since the break. Favor of Zhao. Oh! It's a stock shot, isn't 13. it, for him? Oh. Especially that cross call from the round ahead to a to a left hander on his on Zhao's backhand. Seen two of those that he hasn't read that well. Talking 14, to the umpire here. 13. <laughs> Let's have a look here. And this is a tough one because that's an incredible net. And it's such a fine line between what the exact rules are, 14, as in 13. did he play a shot? Did his racket go over the net? Did he impede his opponent? And and we've seen that now once in real time, yeah. once on replay. It looked okay, but still, even on the slow mo, I I couldn't be 100% sure yeah. unless I watched it another few times. But he's incredibly frustrating as, as the opponent for Zhao there because he's played such a good net. Challenges fall out. Challenge right after that. Oh, a very intriguing point from Lin. Got the last one wrong, remember? This one is into that far corner. This puts him too clear if he gets this right. If he overturns. Oh, wow. Correction in. Good call. 15, 13. Great challenge. Great. Yeah, when, you, when you get a decision like that and you're in, in Zhao's position, I'm sure you guys are, tr are training yourself. You just draw a line under that, right? Forget it. Do not dwell on that. Move on. Is that easier said than done? I think we're... Which are you referring to? The when, when that decision went against Zhao from the umpire. At the, the net. Big change in the net, yeah. It's, you have to. You have to move on. The, the more you... Oh! Brilliant. The more you dwell, the more you let it frustrate yeah. you. But it's obviously much easier said than done. 16, it's like a lot of things in sport, 14. you know. Uh, taking yourself away from it, you can act in a mature, sensible manner. But mm -hmm. unfortunately, sometimes on court, you can't help it because of the emotions, the adrenaline. Yeah. And you can get more frustrated than you should with a situation. Right. The most integral thing is the point's gone. You can't do anything about it. You focus Correct. on the future. It's mm -hmm. kind of like you reset and start again. Great defense. Fantastic. And I think, you know, as a doubles player, 15, 16. For yourself, Chris, at least you had a partner there. If one of you was maybe still upset about it, then you've got someone else to bounce off. 
Singles is quite different, isn't it, that dynamic? Yeah, I mean, you've got your partner to try and assist you. Some, sometimes accidentally you can get frustrated at your partner, ah, though, yeah, so yeah, you've got that point. as well. But you also have a teammate on there too, as mm. you said, you know, support each other and work together as a team, whereas singles, you're out there alone. You're mm. um, doing everything on your own. But then it is all up to you. You know, if you play to a good level, you can win. If you don't, you can lose, whereas in doubles, you could have a really good game and unfortunately your partner might underperform and yeah. you can end up losing. But, you know, there's so many different situations. Yeah, Lynn looked a bit annoyed with himself there with that last shot at the net. We're all square here. This is waiting for his moment, perhaps, Lynn. I think what we've seen so far from Zhao, he's defended incredibly well. He's been so consistent. He's had a good change of pace when he's been moving forward at times, but he's definitely been the player who's been who's defending more. He's trying to work the rallies, but he's giving Lin, I think, a few too many options. We have seen a few unforced errors from Lin, but otherwise he's controlling the majority of the rallies. Thank you. Seventeen, sixteen. Oh. Oh, you need a two point cushion 18, now, very useful 16. for Lin Chun Yi. said Chris he's just controlled things hasn't he beautifully 19, yeah and there was the round the head reverse the quality of this shot I'm gonna see it here it's where the gap is but the quality was so good and then he comfortable kill two away here Lin Chun Yi Shot there, yeah, just too flat. So it's over. 17, 19. Sao Jun Peng read it very easily. Lin Jun has been to 10 quarterfinals in the past, won six of the 10. This is the thing. Zhao Junping, he's, he's stayed in it, although he hasn't done nearly as much in this first mm. game regarding being as aggressive or um, controlling the rallies or as dominant. He's, I don't know if I can remember a mistake that he's actually made. He's been incredibly consistent, hardworking and solid. That one. Oh, that looked in. Your challenge here, and this is a big, big point. Whoa. It's funny because both players went up for that. <laughs> of course, Zhao was a good look at it as well. Closer to him. What do you think? No idea, to be honest. It's so close. Correction in. So that sets up 20. game points game now point for Lin Chun Yi. 15. A great, great challenge. And this is why it's you know, so important for the sport that we have. This. Yeah, yeah, just because, you know, that line charge, it's impossible for them to be able to tell. The shuttle's travelling too so quick. Fast, yeah. They get a, probably a gazillion, <laughs> if that's even a word, of a second to make that call, whereas having the review system makes it so much better that Hawkeye can analyse it and make the correct decision. Good pick up. Oh, he's been brilliant, hasn't Eight. he, throughout. Lin Chun Yi wraps first up this first game. game. It was tight, but he's played well. That was excellent from him, the pick up there. Reacted quickly, didn't he? 
So first game then to Lin Chun Yi. 21-18 against Xiao Junpeng. Caught one, 20 seconds. Caught one, 20 seconds. So an excellent start to this match for Lin Chun Yi. Second game, level. Well, we haven't uh, really explored, we haven't discussed court conditions yet today, Chris. What are your feelings from what we've seen thus far? I'd say so slow-ish, but I wouldn't no. say too slow on this court. Um, I think the sideways drift from the first day isn't anywhere near what it was. Mm -hmm. Ends-wise, there is a marginal drift, but I'd say it's well read, really well read. Um, I'd say, yeah, slight One, probably drift four. again, fractionally going uh, from this end to that end. But compared to the first day, I would say the conditions aren't quite as, quite as drifty. None in which a player would go, oh, I want that and a lot more than the other, right? Everyone's probably going to have a favour of what they want, but I'd say compared to the first day, 100%, it was a, it was a drifty haul. Yeah. Brilliant. Net. He's got that back. <laughs> did he get that? But yeah, not to the uh, not to the same extent as the first day, where I would say it was quite important the end you chose. Still definitely relevant, but not as relevant. Right. As well here, Zhao Jinping. It's obviously this is you know it's obviously a, a massive game. It's quarter final of a 750, but you got such different battles going on for each player. You've got um, Zhao Jinping trying to change his form of the last six tournaments and turn things yeah. around to put him in a good position for next year. Mm. Then you've got Lin Chun Yi who's battling to try to get in the top 16 in the world because if he does, he has that chance of qualifying for Olympics as the second player from Chinese Taipei, which you know would be massive. And at 21, he's not far off and making a, a semi of a if he could oh! win this of a 750 is huge. And then if he did make a semi, I know I'm Oh. Looking ahead. Looking a lot ahead. But if he did, he would have Nishimoto in, in the semi. He's got every chance. Which is a, a, an even-ish match. Nishimoto, 13 in the world. So, you know, obviously you never want to look too far ahead. Sure. You just want to focus on the rally that you're playing. But <laughs> if we're speculating what could happen for him. Oh. <laughs> As well, isn't he? That was very sharp. Doubles esque. Great reactions there from him. Yeah, we in this qualification period that goes till May, if I'm not mistaken, oh, end of April, right? Yeah, and it's a it's a really tough time for everyone, just because everyone's going through different challenges. It could be yeah. that you're trying to be the second ranked player from your country. It could Correct. be you're trying to be the the highest ranked and get into a, a certain qualifying position just generally means you're going to have to play a lot of tournaments because you can't afford not to. So it's it's a tough year for everyone. Sure. You know, the amount of tournaments, traveling you have to do, and it's so difficult to get that balance between training and tournaments. I'll tell you what, it's great for the spectators, though. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of the very best playing a lot of tournaments. You might feel you should be making. Yeah, just seen a few, just a few cheap mistakes, but... He balances it out with moments of brilliance. So yeah. at the moment, he's, he's doing absolutely fine. He just can't let those cheap mistakes 
overweigh the, the moments of of brilliance. Oh, he's made that. Got a challenge here, though. Yeah. Challenges for me. Good vision, no matter what. From Lin there, spotting that Zhao took a very, very high base. And his only option was to clear. Put a lot into that. Let's see. Oh, great challenge. Correction, out. Four, three, play. Lin did so well earlier to get to the back of the court to make that shot. Yeah, and I think Zhao had two chances there to not necessarily put, put it away, but to be more dangerous. But the quality of his attack just wasn't quite good enough. It was just slightly too central. There. Mm. That's why it's so integral when you get that chance, the quality of your attack is the key. If your opponent's on balance in a good position, Four. It's oh. easier to control the shuttle. That's better from so. so that's over. Five, four. Yeah, good pressure from Zhao there. Just taking the shuttle early and doing enough to give his opponent no time. Lin just snatching slightly and miss hitting that shot. Well, to recover from that slip. Too much, too much. Six, four. This is where Zhao now is defending well. He's working the rallies. Not doing a lot, but being so consistent, he's frustrating Lin slightly. And we're seeing some more of these cheap points sneaking in. Easy mistakes. Oh. Okay, you talked about the Five, steepness six. of smashes. It was so steep, it hit the floor before Zhao could even uh, exactly. could even defend it. And it's a good call by the umpire. It's really well spotted. I think the crowd, the crowd I pretended that they didn't hear. <laughs> Zhao has done well throughout the game. His net has been very good, his net play. As soon as the shuttle hits the tape like that and it tumbles, mm. it's just so hard to control it because the amount of spin, it's almost the, the feathers are, are coming before the, the cork, the base of the shuttle, and it's so hard to do anything off it. Two-point lead here for Zhao. Very, very good judgment Eight, there. Five. Zhao going for it and then pulled his rack out at last second. Calm and composed to be able to make that decision, that judgment. And again. Well, this is five. One of his best runs, I think, so far. Certainly his biggest lead. Four points now. More the delicate touch. 
six. From Lin Chun Yi. Yeah, perfect placement from Lin there. But before that, Zhao was defending so well. This is on the line. It's the only way at the moment he can win the rally. Because Zhao's defending that well. On that steep smashing, Chris, is that something that can be trained? I mean, yeah. just to work on, on making the trajectory as steep as possible? How, how hard is that? Yeah, it's definitely something you would work on. It's the amount you can improve it, you definitely can improve it by how much is dependent upon each player. Obviously, the taller the player, the easier it is to hit steep because you don't actually even have to take it that high to be able to <laughs> nice. slightly lose net shot to even Ten. actually hit it that Six. steep. So if you think of some players, take men's doubles because it was my event you had a russian player ivanov who was an incredibly mm. tall guy and he hit steep that's holding from denmark he was very very tall and he hit very steep just because they didn't even have to you know they could take almost their shoulder height and it was <laughs> probably a foot above me um, but it's something you would definitely work on because steepness is so integral in the sport the, ste the steeper yeah. you hit the more dangerous you are Another cheap point away there, Lin Chun Yi. And it's Zhao Junpeng who leads 11 7 in game two. But Lin won that first game. Call Seven, seven, Nicely done by Tao. And then puts it away, the next shot. Nine, eleven. Two yeah, quick points. Incredible pickup earlier in that rally from Zhao. And, and this is the thing, almost every rally is a case of Lin being the, the player who's working hard to, to be aggressive, be attacking, take the shuttle early. Zhao's defending incredibly well. And it's kind of a balance of can Lin be consistent enough to maintain his attack and be the aggressor? And does he have enough in him? Energy was two service mistakes, really well, cheap points. He's nine. worked so hard to win that last rally and just gifted his opponent such an easy point. Seen a few more of these though, littered in the second game, right? Yeah. So this is the thing: if you're having to work 10, hard and 12. let's say play 20 overheads to win a point and then the next point cheap service mistake is he mm. going to take just a fraction longer to actually serve yeah. he has got an incredibly quick serve brilliant but that's what he wants when he's like that and he i mean he <laughs> controlled the rally dominated well, the rally mm. so aggressive so accurate he does have an incredible attack. You can see how low Zhao was having to take that last lift. It just gives his opponent all the time in the world. Yeah. Lin to be able to get behind it and be devastating on his overhead. I'm just trailing. Five, 
three. Summer's over. 13, tight one. 11. Yeah, the uh, first game is also very tight. Summer's over. And that's one of the first 12, simple mistakes we've seen from uh, Zhao in the mm. whole match. Crowd trying to do something here, but it's fairly muted at the moment. Court two, the Chinese pair are also behind. Summer's over. 14. You know, for a well. pretty good day so far for China. Back to two points in front here by Tao. Summer's over. 13. 14. Now, they haven't been level in scores since it was 4 all. Since then, Tao has been in front. So, a chance here for Lin Yu to put the pressure on. She's not able to do. Thomas over. 15. I think with Lin is showing um, patches, obviously in this game, but throughout the year of how good he can be, where he's beaten. You know, as I identified, quite a few very, very good players. Um, just maintaining it. Even in this match, we've seen Summer's moments over. of the up 14, and the down. And I know he's 24, which isn't really that young, but it is in regards to how long he's been on tour, really. And I think he is a player that has so much potential for the future. I mean, already beating the players he's beaten, Arioka, Chi he's already beaten Nishimoto, Wen Hong Yang. All these players already this year, and he's kind of not come out of nowhere, but two years ago, I don't think he was anywhere near this level, the amount he's improved. Four. Again. Thomas Olds to try and fall level. 14. Managed to do it. It was good calm play here. And then all he did there was just push it in the corner. Just pushed his, his shot away from his opponent, then Zhao made it hard. Lin kind of got a bit, a bit tense just because he had the pressure on him and got a bit stuck, didn't quite move to it. Almost tried to reach or lean rather than actually just take that half a step or the step to get to the shuttle. Sixteen, fourteen. and that very quick. 17, 14. And yeah, then Zhao, even on that, that last shot, very calm and composed. Worked the rally really well here. Better attack there, coming forward. and He has looked very calm throughout the match. Nothing's mm. really stressed him. Summer Soldier, 15. 17. A moment of brilliance there with that attack. Placement. Quick movement, big jump. Thank you. Charles, by the way, has played seven matches against other left-handers in his career and the World Tour only 15, lost once 17. to some fellow called Lin Dan, 2019. One of the all-time greats. <laughs> 16, 17. He's actually beaten Lin Dan as well once before. Ren Kento Mamota.
puts that away nicely, Dajun Peng. Once again, just 16. as he was perhaps just nearing leveling the scores. And Junyi, Dajun Peng relieves that pressure. Such a good rally, got himself into the perfect position. Just fractionally mishit it and it put him in all sorts of trouble. That one there. Otherwise, I think he could have possibly finished the rally. I've got to say, Dozal, so calm in defense. He has got an incredibly solid, consistent defense. from Jajun Bank. He was convinced that was out. He sat down, probably indicates exactly what he thought of that, and that sets up One challenge remaining. four game points for Jajun Peng. Game point, 16. from Lin steps in, reads it, takes it so early. Took it almost above tape level. Double Pungnan levels things here. Game one by Zhou Jin Pang, 21 17. One game more. One all here, going into a third. Hey, you want to talk? 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 那谁稀罕了他在那边肯定还是要停了
Nice comeback from Zhao Dufeng in the second game. And it's such an important one, isn't it, Chris? Because you've got the semi-final against Kenta Nishimoto. I mean, obviously a great play in his own right, but both of these men have taken out some big names. Nishimoto has disposed of Li Zijia. I mean, that semi-final is nice and open. Yeah, yeah, it is. And, you know, I spoke about it before. It's one of those things where you don't want to look too far ahead. Mm. And um, Lin's beaten Nishimoto this year. So, you know, in the back of his mind, he'll be thinking, possibly, if he was to progress there, it's a possible game. You know, as you said, Nishimoto played incredible earlier. Mm. And he is a really, really good player. Um, big thing is here, we've got it's just such a different style of play from both players. You've got... Zhao being very solid, very consistent, working the rallies, defending incredibly well, giving his opponent nothing, mm. not being that proactive or aggressive. Um, but then you've got Lin, who's a younger player, slightly less experienced, but being a lot more the aggressor, working incredibly hard to be aggressive in the rallies, but then occasionally forcing it, giving away a few more cheaper points, but also then some moments of absolute brilliance. To perfection on the line. Lin worked the rally well there to expose the gap. Zhao's backhand. Three, two. One of the few times where we've seen Zhao. I think he was caught in two minds there. I think he was going to play net, and then he saw his opponent was there and almost thought about lifting and just got caught in two minds of what shot to actually play. There was only one way that was going to end. And again, just brilliant. The net play from uh, from Lin. I'm sure we're going to get to see it on the replay, but it's so tight that Zhao, you can't do anything. Mm. It's got a tumbling neck cord that, you know, Zhao can't lift it because it's just far too tight. Percentages sometimes, isn't he? And Chun Yi. Very quick apology there. From Lin. Five, again, just not too sure what happened there. I think, again, caught in two minds because that's, you know, very loose. And we've seen how good Zhao's net player has been as well. Oh. Yeah. He had a very good look at that. And he feels it's worthy of a challenge. If that had been on the first day, that was definitely out because the drift would have taken it more. <laughs> Maybe it did push it a fraction, but can't tell from here if that was in or out. It is out. Good call. Correction, out. Very good challenge there. Six, three. And it's the first time in the whole match we've seen just a few in a row Wait. cheaper right. mistakes from Zhao. You know, I think the first two games put together, we saw maybe two. Mm. And he's had two... Uh, Other net. Strange shot, shot choices, selection, quality, whatever you want to call it exactly at the net, and then just that one forced out. Brilliant. And this is the thing now, with the way that Zhao's playing, he's playing a lot more defensive and trying to work the rally, but 
he's not doing enough to hurt his opponent and with those few gifts he's given and now these if Lin can settle and be as good as he has been just being so aggressive with his some of the qualities produced there you go. Yeah. he's so Seven. fast coming forward in a forward direction when he reads it, he's so smooth and fluid coming in speed speed there outstretched arm to take it as early as possible for Lynn. Five, seven. Oh. It's been a long time the net, these two. Smiles from both <laughs> players, which you don't see very often. A lot more net exchanges going on. Mm. No one wants to just lift. Everyone's trying to keep the net. Five, seven. Again, Lin Chun Yi. And is it a first sign, possibly, Six, of some fatigue? Seven. These are the ones he can't miss. He's worked mm. the rally, he's got the opportunities. Doesn't even have to be phenomenal, it's just got to be a good shot to keep the pressure on. Might be another four or five shots until he wins it, but it's a gift. But I think Zhao now is definitely playing a lot more net. I think that's one area that his sh shot quality has been very high throughout the match. And Trying to use that more and more now. Three points in a row for Tao. Such Thank an you. important time as well for him. Because if that lead had just grown before the change of ends. Yeah. Because Lin does seem a little happy on this end, doesn't he? The, the further end. Yeah, I think it's, it's you just never want when you change ends too big a lead to have to come back from. If a player settles too quickly at the, the last part of the match and feels too comfortable, it can just grow and grow and grow. Yeah, yeah. Three up at one stage, uh, Lin. Again, okay. Cheap, very cheap point. Seven, eight. But uh, as you pointed out, Chris, uh, that's sort of, it feels like an instinctive sort of guy, isn't it, playing? He makes these mistakes, but he plays some actually brilliant stuff as well. Yeah, and this is the balance because he is being so much more aggressive. He's, he's going for the point, as in he's, he's not just building, he's not just being patient, he's not just working, mm. he, he's, he's being a lot more aggressive and you get mistakes with that it's definite you know it's definitely the case but it's a, you just got to reel it in a fraction mm. because Zhao is defending very well and he's forcing his opponent to try something even more special oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. this is the thing Nine. most of the rallies when they're ending they're ending with either a mistake not every rally, but most. Mistake from Lin or a winner from Lin. And yeah. the, the difficult thing is for Lin, though, when he's hitting the winners like just then, it's pretty much on the line or a couple yeah. of inches inside the line. And this is the thing, he's having to have such good shot quality to win the point because Zhao is defending incredibly well. Yeah, he's 
this is why for anyone watching at home that wonders why it's string went as well, why it's so important for players to make sure the court is not low. Look at that. Ooh. Big slip and a string break. Still manages to win the point. Balanced here, this one. We know in theory Lin can, can handle these longer matches, 55 minutes. We've seen that, as I said earlier, he had that two hour game where he beat Narioka in the semi final. Um, so he can handle a, and that was in the Malaysian Masters. So, but it's. 10, 9. Can he handle doing it in the quarter-final stage of a 7.50 at the China Masters? It, it would appear that he seems to want to finish things quite quickly, doesn't he? It's just the way he plays. He's very attacking, aggressive. He's not really a rallier. It's not a dangerous shot that he's hit. Mm. I think Lin could have just blocked it, pushed it into court. He would have been fine. Because Zhao is so consistent. Does make his opponent think that a little bit more. That's a good shot. Very good shot there down the line from Zhao. He takes a one-point lead into the interval here in game three. Of course, midway through the third game, so leading by two. We've seen that a few times, haven't we? 13, 10. And he's in danger of having this run away from him. And this is the thing for Lin. He. It's not he's running out of ideas, but you can see that when he's not getting through in one, two, three, four, five, even six overhead attacks, he's then forcing it. He's going for something that bit better. A few mistakes creeping Summer's in. over. 11, 13. That one. Summer's over. 14, 11. Do you think it's going to come down to, to this in the end in regards to three cheap points Zhao's given his opponent in this game, probably five in the match, whereas the amount of cheap points hmm. Lin's given away. And as I say that, maybe there's one there. Summer's <laughs> over. 12, 14. Well, no, Chris. <laughs> That's only in the, the sixth of the whole match, <laughs> right yeah. after you said yeah. it. <laughs> ah! 
Well, to balance things out. Little one from Lynn. 15, 12. Thing is, I don't think really that his opponent, Zhao, is doing a lot to hurt him with, as in actually hurt him with speed or shot quality. Right. Or, but the amount of on-force errors that Lin's making, it's just, a, it's just a few too many at the moment. Something obviously I've said a few so times, Zhao's doing amazing, is defending, he's almost frustrating his opponent. 13, is it just the, the, the sheer consistency of Zhao playing that's helping him? <laughs> yeah, it is. And you know, it, it gets to a point where you think, well, how do I get through? My opponent's getting everything back. Right, I've got to hit a better shot. I've mm. got to hit a closer to the line. I've got to be more accurate. And then you do almost force yourself into making the mistake. But you've just got to keep... OK, that, that, that's a moment of yeah. brilliance yeah. Okay, from Zhao. And, and that is very, very good. 16, so we haven't seen that. It's probably the second time I've seen that in the whole match from mm. Zhao. Here in the crowd. That was a much better rally for me. He just puts his pressure on his opponent. He keeps the shuttle flat, but slightly downward, so it's always coming up to him. And then obviously the easy put away. But whenever you're in the midcourt with anyone, the most integral thing is you can see the shuttle's going in a very slightly downward direction, which means your opponent has to upwards. You then have control of the rally. Thank you. So he's in a good position 17, here, Tajin Pei. Four is the lead and four is the need for this man here. Done well, isn't he? Tao. And again. And again. Oh! If you can just stay in there. I guess Lin Chun Yi. Brilliant from Tao. And I would say that rally almost sums up the match. Zhao does so well. So well to stay. He's, he could have possibly lost the rally three times mm. over. Somehow manages to stay in the rally and then gets to the point where he frustrates his opponent so much, he just forces it, makes it unforced error. It's a nice lead here, five, isn't it? I say at no point has our speed really changed. He hasn't looked tired from defending. He's been pretty much the same throughout the match. It's just first game. 18, Lin was very 18. efficient with his attack. Very, very accurate. No, a lot less unforced errors, whereas the second, a few more, and the third, again, even more. Third game's just crept away from Lin. Yeah. A lot more aggressive, taking control of the rally. But he can afford to do that with 19 13 up. Seven match points here for Zhao Junpeng. So that's over. 14 20. Saved here for Lin. Yeah. Well, I think that was worth a challenge. 
That's exactly what he's done. Doesn't get overturned, of course. Tao has won this. Chance here for Lin Chun Yi. No, it is out. Dao Jinpeng makes his first quarter final in about a year and a half. Absolute delight since the World Championships of 2022. This is the furthest he's got in any tournament by quite some distance in 2023. And this was the winning point. Back one by Zhao Jinpeng. Zhao Jinpeng steady 18, throughout. 21, Unflappable. 21, and he's through to a semi final against Kenta Nishimoto here in his home tournament. Jin Chun Yi may look back at some of the opportunities he had in this one. But uh, let's not take anything away from Zhao Junpeng today. So Zhao Junpeng of China beats Chinese Taipei's Lin Chun Yi, 18-21, 21-17, 21-15, completed in 65 minutes.